Mr. President, I'll be brief. This deals with uh, two amendments. Both do the same thing except for the way in which they're paid for. I appreciate very much uh, Senator Reid's interest in this as the leader. I've worked on this, as everybody knows, for a long, long time, and we passed unanimously in the Senate last year a home buyer tax credit, which ended on April the 30th for contract date. Unfortunately, because of the backlog of appraisals and the current FDIC regulation, a lot of people who qualified for the credit are not going to be able to close by the end of June, and they'll lose the credit because we put a June 30th closing date as the deadline for closing the credit earned by the contract of April 30th. Both amendments merely move that June 30th date to the end of September, which gives another 90 days to close the transaction that's already been under contract for 60 days. It ensures Americans they will get what the United States Senate promised them in terms of the tax credit if they, in fact, performed and qualified prior to April the 30th. The difference in the two amendments is the pay for. One is the doing away with the deductibility of punitive damages, which is Senator Reid's. The other is mine, which it takes it from the unspent $50 billion in stimulus money. And the, the pay for, by the way, in both cases is not a lot of money in the scheme of things. It's a lot of money to me and you, but it's $140 million, uh, not $50 billion. So I would certainly appreciate support for the Isaacs Amendment. I appreciate the cooperation of Senator Dodd and Senator Reid. And I yield back the balance of my time.